particularly in the trade issue, on tariffs, on immigration, on the whole question of uh, visas. Uh, you might have problems with him. When President Trump will take up issues such as trade issues, tariffs, investments and so on, uh, certainly we need to be prepared for all of those. This is great. These are our... We had equally good relations during the current administration of President Biden. We've seen many things go forward. Of course, the United States has to also bat for its own interests. And you, many people have pointed out that President Trump will take up issues such as trade issues, tariffs, investments, and so on. Uh, certainly, we need to be prepared for all of those. But on the other hand, he might just provide us a little more policy space in terms of action. When we look at climate change, we as a country are willing and have taken on ambitious targets. President Trump, the past experience is that he actually left the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change. However, one of the important elements for a country like India is that we have to grow. And will this provide a slight amount of policy space to be able to do that? We'll see what happens. My own understanding is Whoever candidate had won, whichever candidate had won, India would, was, is well placed to be able to take this on and interact with them and take Indo-US relations and India's own situation further. I have no doubt. Congratulations to President-elect Trump. This is only the second time in UN history that a president who lost his re-election has come back. Uh, this is a tribute to him, but it's also a sign of where the US society is going. And while you and I here are very happy and pleased with what globalization has delivered for us, it's possible that in the old countries which benefited from the Industrial Revolution, there are many people who feel that they have somehow been robbed of something from globalization and that there is a new competitors on the block, which includes India and certainly includes China and so on. So I personally think it's good times for India and I think uh, there's no reason why we should at all be apprehensive. In fact, we will find ways and means of cooperating in taking the Indo-US uh, relations forward, also India on the global high table forward. Yes, there will be some areas, I can think of two or three areas, where we will have difficulties with him, uh, clearly in the trade issue, mm -hmm. on tariffs, on immigration, on the whole question of uh, visas. Uh, you might have problems with him. Uh, as you know, uh, it was under his presidency that the GSP was withdrawn in 2019 by Trump. Uh, it has not been restored. So I think we will have a much more difficult discussion with him on trade and on tariff. Um, similarly, on H-1B visas and immigration, uh, there will be uh, a tighter um, scrutiny and maybe more difficult uh, discussions. Um, his other, you know, agenda to make America great again, raise tariffs uh, globally mm -hmm. uh, for all imports into the United States, mm -hmm. to bring manufacturing back to America, uh, maybe to build some walls, tariff walls around America, could impact Indian exports mm -hmm. uh, into, into the United States. Uh, it could also disrupt some of the supply chains we want to create between India and the United States, because we want to do exactly what he's doing in America, which is to build our own manufacturing base. Mm -hmm.